Hello everybody, so tonight I wanted to take a moment and do a quick video on a very cool Nintendo DS accessory um, that I was recently uh, chatting about with some people online. Um, it is the Taito Spinner Paddle, uh, whatever you want to call it. It's a Japanese only imported um, accessory that only works on the Nintendo DS Lite or the original Nintendo DS model, the fat version in other words. Um, and that is because it uses the GBA port that is not found in the 3DS or DSi or DSi XL. So I have here my uh, launch day DS Lite figured I'd use that because it's got a nicer screen. It'll be easier hopefully to see on camera. And uh, I took it out of the box here to get it all ready to use in this video. So um, going in, I just want to let everybody know I'm going to cheat a little bit. I don't have my cartridge for uh, Arkanoid handy. So I'm using a flash cart to show off Arkanoid DS, which is one of the games that this works with and is really meant for. Uh, a few of the other games that are available that work with this are Space Invaders Extreme and Space Invaders Extreme 2. That I have the cartridge handy for and I will also be showing off. So for the sake of time and, and doing this video, um, I figured I would just use this for now for Arkanoid. So uh, we're going to turn this on. I'm going to pull out the little shell here that is for the... Uh, DS Lite and I'm going to plug this in here. It goes in just like a GBA cartridge, Game Boy Advance cartridge, except in this case it's an accessory. What's great is you can hear it's a very nice solid feel. It, it's not like just hollow and, and sp just it's got a bit of a like an inertia, I guess you could say, a tension to it, um, to the spin. So one thing, real quick as a side note, one thing that drives me crazy is I've had this thing packed away and I always tried to keep it clean. I didn't have dirty fingers. You can see back, this was me back when the Wii was uh, around. Um, and some of the plastic, just like on the um, nunchucks for the Wii, they use that same kind of plastic. And no matter what you do, it's like the chemicals react over time and, and discolor. One thing that drives me crazy, it's got this weird soft plastic everything else is great but it makes it look so dingy so in any case <clears throat> we're gonna get this started and we're gonna show off some Arkanoid DS first to get an idea of how this works I haven't used this in a little while so one thing I liked about these flash cartridges was um, at the time, especially we didn't have a digital eShop for the uh, old DS and DSi uh, for these full fledged games. So uh, when, when people such as myself had these vast libraries of physical cartridges, it was just so much nicer to get one of these flash cartridges just to even load up your own personal library on and just take it anywhere. It's something we take for granted now with say something like the switch. Um, or even a 3DS where you can digitally download and, and own the games just to s sock away on a, on a, a big memory card. Um, you couldn't do that back then. And it was just nice to be able to take all these games. I mean, I'm not even talking for nefarious reasons here. Um, me and a lot of my buddies, we had these huge libraries of, of DS cartridges in, in, car in physical format, which is the only way they came. So being able to load these on one of these little flash carts, even just like 10 or 15, 20 games at a time, and just take them with you on plane trips, on train trips, on long drives, um, maybe away from home, it was just great to have. It was very easy to use. Um, and some of these are still on here. I mean, I haven't even used this flash cart in, in, over, in probably like 10 years at least. So a lot of these games are still on here, including this Arkanoid. So... Um, Paddle controller is removed. So this is the first thing we get here. And uh, the paddle controller is removed. It will revert to a control pad um, control scheme. And the other options were that control pad 
or a stylus and the stylus was, was pretty decent it works well you know you move your stylus back and forth over top of the paddle but nothing beats this this is great this was made for this so let's get this started and first thing we get is a nice little intro here give me a little story For sake of time though we're just gonna try to skip ahead here which button is one of these buttons so one thing that's neat is you can use this dial to, to um, select through these menus. It's very classy. So we're going to do a uh, one player game. And you have three options here. You have a reverse mood, which I believe is a wireless mood. Oh, play against the comp. I don't think I've ever played that. This is your typical so many rounds mode. And you have a quest mode here. But uh, we're just going to stick with the basics. We're going to do a clear round. So here's where you get your options. You get a paddle, barrier, and difficulty. So I think if you click over here, see here's your control pad. That is not a good way to play. I mean, you need that delicate accuracy that Arkanoid requires. The stylus works a lot better because, like I said, you can kind of hover your stylus over top. But we're going to be doing the paddle because we're going to be showing this guy off. So one thing you're going to notice is you have that gap in between the screens and it makes up for it. So here you go, you can say. You can launch the ball manually as well. So here's a laser option coming down. So you'll hear that little bit of a sound in there. It's almost like a grind, but it gives it a nice solid feel. It's very accurate. It's it's hard to play this any other way. And the fact that they even made this is, is just so cool. Much like the uh, the Jax video I did earlier. I mean, somebody actually took the time and said, hey, why don't we make a little paddle for Arkanoid DS? This is where it really comes in handy too, when you get these split ball options, which I just missed completely. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, I'm not really playing to show off my skill here either. I'm just demoing the game more or less. And it's a shame that this didn't work with more games, because this is definitely one of the cooler accessories you can get for this. It really made having that GBA slot just an extra perk overall. So, um, that's pretty much all there is to this uh, Arkanoid DS. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in, um, we're going to throw you into a quick save too, which is kind of cool. Uh, we're going to throw in, let's throw in um, some Space Invaders Extreme real quick here. And we have our Space Invaders Extreme 2. Now obviously Space Invaders Extreme or Space Invaders Extreme 2 isn't really going to be the prime candidate game for something like this. Um, but it works really well either way. I mean, ultimately uh, Arkanoid DS is the killer app, so to speak. But uh, as you'll see, it works really well with this. Because uh, of the bonus weapons that you get, um, you, can, you can do some really neat things just by whipping this paddle back and forth. So we're just going to do a basic score attack here. I don't think this works for the menus in this game. Let's do a new game. And just do normal. 
But for this, you're going to be able to move your ship. See how fast you can move your ship back and forth? And you can just whip it across like this and just take these guys right out. Very cool. Both Taito games, obviously. Now, I think one of the other games, at least, is, there is a puzzle bottle game that you can use this with. Uh, I, I, I have Puzzle Bobble DS, which was the really a very early, close to launch Japanese only game. Um, I think they did eventually release it here later. That is not the one that I think works with this. There was a later release of uh, Puzzle Bobble. I think it was called Super Puzzle Bobble for the uh, original DS. And uh, that is the one I believe that supports the spinner, if I'm not mistaken. Those are the four games that I'm aware of offhand. There may be an extra one here and there. But you can see here, this, this works really well. It's very intuitive. Gives you a lot of accuracy, especially if you're trying to dodge some bullets or some invaders there, which just plowed into me because I can't talk and play games very well as I've been shown to do. But uh, yeah, it works pretty well. Look at that, so you can just slide back and forth and suck those guys all in for your points. So, that's pretty much all I wanted to show with this. Um, if you have the means, and you're looking to add to your collection, uh, I definitely recommend it. Not too many people seem to be aware of his existence. And uh, I don't think it goes for a gross amount of money. So, uh should be fairly easy to pick up. And uh, one other thing that's really neat is they made these in various colors to match uh, the models at the time of uh, DS Lite that were available in Japan <clears throat> so that it would kind of seamlessly um, go along with the uh, system. And uh, just, and uh, like, I think there was a, I know there obviously was a, s a silver, uh, but they had a white one, and uh, I believe they had even um, they had that 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 powder puff blue, I think, and also there might have been a pink and a black. Uh, but if you go online, I think there was at least four or five different colors of these. I think the silver is the coolest, personally. I never had the silver uh, DSLA. I really wanted it, but uh, yeah, it's an official Taito product. I believe it came bundled with the Arkanoid DS game, uh, or maybe even separately. I mean, you can get it separately. Once again, this is just very nice quality. This isn't some hollow um, ball. I mean, it's got a little bit of a weight to it, I guess is what I want to say. So anyway, that's about it for this evening. And uh, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks again.